All right, so as you are outlining, you want to make sure you're going over as many little details as possible. So I am going in and emphasizing these dark areas. So in this little doggy, there are areas I can't really see, but I know that they're dark and I know he has very short hair. So I am making little lines in those areas if it's lighter, I actually press lighter. I don't press as hard. Now, what about your background? Does your background have information in there? If so, mine is very uh, bland right now. I can see like a change in value, but I don't see a whole lot of details. But if your background has details in it, I want you to um, outline those as well. If I come to a really dark area, it's important that you try to continue shading in the direction that the hair is going. So right now, I have a really dark area that I'm working on right here. But I'm trying to make the little hairs go in the direction that they actually are growing. So they're kind of going um up and then they curve around the eye. That's the direction that the hairs are going on this little doggy. So I'm trying to continue with the flow of the hairs as opposed to shading completely side to side or, you know, just kind of doing a random scribble. If you can try to go back and, you know, do your shading in the direction of the hair.
Now that little nose is has a whole bunch of pores on it. So when I do this little nose, I'm going in with a stipple. The nose does not have hairs on it. Not this guy. He has like little teeny tiny little dots or pores. So instead of drawing lines, I am using a stipple to show the details in his nose. I'm just gonna lift it up and see how it's looking. So far, so good. Check your work, make sure you're, you know, happy with the way it's looking. If you are really paying attention to the details, your life is gonna be a lot easier when it comes to adding color.
Now on my paper, I have some smudges, so I'm gonna go in and clean that up. If you do finish your tracing, you want to make sure that this paper does not get left in front of this picture. Once you're completely done, don't take the tape off until I tell you to, but I would have you tape this paper on a different page inside your sketchbook so that the pencil doesn't smudge your drawing. Now I will check your work before you take that tape off to make sure that you have gotten all of the areas that you needed to. So the idea is, is that when you take off your, your paper, or when you take a peek, that you have uh, pretty clearly identified all of the little areas in the face that, um, that you should. All right.